As Melissa mentioned earlier, my name is Steven Sacker. I work with Curl and Track as a solution architect, and I've been in the industry for over 10 years and um, in IT for an additional five years, specifically on, on the information management and knowledge management side of corporations, consulting them in building systems to organize their data. So with the combination of experience, I've worked with a lot of outside councils and in-house councils to develop solutions that fit specific cases, because as we can all agree, um, every case has its own set of nuances. Um, we're very excited about this opportunity to participate in a hands-on um, event in Birmingham. I recently did an event in Washington, D.C., um, specifically on TAR, and we did an eight-hour hands-on session, and I could tell you it was it was fun introducing the tool to some people who had not used it, but the, I think the most the, the value, and I think the value that this group and this organization that Melissa has created brings to the to the group, is the experience and the exchange of information. And so we're excited to be part of this. Um, you know, our main focus is going to be to provide a hands-on opportunity to take a look at basically a very easy to use advanced set of tools. Um, you know, when we look at, um, for example, when we look at um, EDA. And, Melissa, if you'd go to the next slide, please. You know, when you take a look at traditional method of e-discovery, you know, the cost has always been a huge concern. You know, we all, we all look for methods of identifying data on the corporate side, uh, using key terms if, if corporations have internal indexing capabilities, et cetera. We've always looked to avoid volume. And, and often in that, you know, use of key terms as an example, not to say that key terms can't be effective, but often they're either – they're either you know, over-inclusive or, or they're not inclusive enough. And so we know that the requirements for each individual matter is going to drive a workflow and selection of technology. So EDA is going to give you basically a, an approach to use a tool set to, to more accurately define your search criteria and locate substantive information. So, <clears throat> excuse me. so when you look at our platform, and we're going to walk you through, we're going to help you and show you how to narrow down that data set. So we're going, to, we're going to talk about the big five uh, in the breakout. We're going to talk about advanced analytics, email threading, near duplicate, concept searching, and topical grouping. Now, those may sound like very technical things, but they're really just things that accent or complement the strategy, the legal strategy for locating substantive information. So these tools, we're going to, we're going to talk about those in the breakout. Next slide, please. Now, when we talk about searching, we, we are going to go over basic basic searching and advanced searching. You know, we're going to talk about, um, we're going to go through the tool and show you how easy it is. You don't have to have a programming degree to write a search, a search, a very complex search string. Um, we're going to show you how you can really scope it and define it by data slice, by custodian, by metadata, by the issue tags, um, by date range, using Boolean, proximity, and, and using concept searching. And so how you use all of those tools in, in conjunction with one another to, to find your substantive information. Uh, next slide, please. When we talk about creating a search and you get your results, now what do you do with it? How do you analyze the accuracy or how do you analyze the, you know, how effective your search uh, criteria was? So we're going to go through some tool sets, and specifically we're going to talk about a, a visual analytics, um, keyword analysis, random sampling of the results, and topic grouping so that you can interact with the data and you can really see what your accuracy is and what percentage of documents that you're yielding from your search. We're going to teach you how to folder those results and work with those results and collaborate with other co-counsel or other members of your team to utilize that information and build a workflow that will help you to your end game. The ability to view only unique documents that are hits to your search, but more importantly, be able to pull all associated documents in for purposes of production. You know, we're going to be able to allow you to give visibility to the email and the entire conversation to near duplicates and other documents that may be also um, not responsive. So being able to pull in associated documents for completeness. Next slide, please. In addition, in addition to that, I think one of the, mo one of the biggest, uh, hottest topics in the market right now is, is predictive coding, or TAR. Um, Crawl and Track's technology is called Intelligent Review Technology. We're basically going to cover the basic principles of TAR, but we're, fo we're going to primarily focus on the three components of the intelligent review technology that Kroll's platform provides, and that's going to be workflow, intelligent prioritization, and intelligent categorization. Now, the key component here and what we're going to talk about when we present and walk you through exercises in the event is how to build a workflow that can allow you to implement automated um, rules. For example, if you have priv documents or a particular task, you know, like a priv document forcing the reviewer to choose a reason why a document's privileged. So at the end of the review, you're not scrambling to try to complete your priv log. Intelligent prioritization. 
This allows you to feed the most responsive documents to your review team as, the t as, the, as you teach the system. And one differentiator that I think is very interesting in this workflow is in a lot of the, the tool sets out there, you often have to go through this very cumbersome teaching process and it holds up the review. In our platform, those, run, those two processes run parallel. The review team can get started and the, and the main knowledge owner of the case can start teaching the system and it prioritizes those documents and pushes them to the review group. That way the review team is getting into the most substantive information um, on the front end of the review. Uh, intelligent categorization. That's basically, there's no magic here. You know, predictive coding often is, is pr you know, presented as a replacement for review, and I will tell you it's not. It's a complement to be able to apply a coding call that an attorney makes, a substantive call, and then be able to apply that programmatically across the rest of the corpus, and then allow them to sample and to validate their results. So, you know, we're certainly not going to have a time in, in the event to go it, it super deep into TAR, but I hope we, you know, it gives us opportunity to sort of share with everybody how technologies allow you to deal with the massive amounts of data that we have. And again, you know, the key is going to be just how easy it is for you to actually control and to develop a workflow um, without actually being, you know, super technical. Um, we're excited, for, you know, we're, we're excited to collaborate with Melissa in this event, we're looking forward to the great speakers and some of the industry experts that are going to be there. Um, and we hope you all can make it. We look forward to seeing you. Um, and that's all I have. Thanks, Melissa.